This video will review the insertion of an ultrasound guided peripheral IV. Indications, relative contraindications, and complications will not be reviewed in this video. The first step is to explain the procedure to your patient and prepare your materials. The required materials are shown in the order of use. Tape, Tegaderm, Flush, IV extension tubing, 2x2 two two gauze, IV catheter, alcohol cleaning pads, two tourniquets, and a protective cap. Select an appropriate size IV catheter. It can be helpful to insert the largest possible catheter for the vessel size, which can be measured or estimated. Large bore access can be helpful in a variety of clinical situations. The next step is to identify an appropriate target vessel for cannulation. This is often best accomplished by applying the tourniquet to the proximal arm. I prefer to use a double tourniquet technique to make veins more prominent and to avoid slipping from ultrasound gel that gets into your tourniquet knot. Grasp the tourniquet between your thumb and index finger in both hands. Touch your small fingers together to judge the proper length in your grasp. Stretch the tourniquet across the arm and cross your wrists. Use your little finger on your right hand to keep a firm stretch and tuck a loop of tourniquet into the knot that you've created. It's best for extra tourniquet to be directed proximally and out of your procedure field. Choose the vascular probe and apply gel. Search for a venous structure with an acceptable diameter and a relatively straight course. It's difficult to cannulate small or tortuous veins. If there are no suitable veins distally, the proximal veins are often acceptable. If necessary, examine both arms to find the best vessel. This will be worth your time making the procedure smoother and reducing sticks for your patient. It is important to verify that the target structure is venous. It should be fully compressible and non-pulsatile. Locate the relevant brachial, radial, or ulnar artery to assure yourself that you will not cannulate these structures. When in doubt, you can use Doppler or color flow to confirm arterial versus venous flow. Pulsatile flow is suggestive of an artery, and these vessels should be avoided. It's often safer and easier to cannulate veins that are farther away from arteries. The next step is positioning, which is one of the most important steps. Here, we show suggested positioning using a side table. Abduct and externally rotate the arm for easier access to the basilic vein. If you're new to the procedure, it can be helpful to place a chucks under the arm, minimizing mess. Be sure the bed is at a comfortable height and that all your materials are well within reach. It can be helpful to arrange materials in the order of use. Attach your flush to the IV connector tubing and flush the tubing. Take the cap off the end for easier use and rest it inside the initial packaging to keep it clean. Clean the target area. In one hand, use the vascular probe to image the target vessel. In the other hand, position your IV catheter. The key to insertion is visualizing the angle between the ultrasound beam and the needle. You can only properly visualize the needle tip at the intersection of these two lines. You can see why it's important to puncture the skin slightly distal to your probe. It's critically important to keep your vessel in the center of your ultrasound screen and to puncture the skin directly in the center of your ultrasound probe. Your needle direction should be based on the course of your target vessel. Quickly puncture through the skin. From here, your eyes should be directed almost entirely to the ultrasound screen as you identify your needle tip. Enter the vessel at 12 o'clock if possible. When you enter the vessel and see flash in your catheter, drop your angle and use the ultrasound to guide your needle tip well into the target vein. You can adjust the ultrasound beam angle with tiny pivots of the probe without moving the probe on the skin. Now you can advance your catheter along the needle. Before removing the needle from the catheter, untie your tourniquet and occlude the vessel with your finger to prevent blood loss. Attach your IV extension tubing. Verify placement by drawing back blood. Flush your new IV. Clean any blood or ultrasound gel from the skin. 
apply a double tegaderm over the catheter base. Loop the extension tubing to keep things neat and apply a single piece of tape over the setup to stabilize. Finish the procedure by labeling the IV appropriately and applying a protective cap over the exposed port if applicable. Remember to safely dispose of your sharps. Congratulations, you've achieved IV access with an ultrasound guided peripheral IV.